Hi, I'm Rhonda from Adventures in Nomadness. I bet you're wondering why I have all this stuff and sitting in front of me. Well, today's video is all about collapsible items. Should you or shouldn't you bother to get them? Well, my answer is maybe, and I'm going to talk about which ones I think are the best ones for us and which ones we've chosen not to have. So how do I figure out whether or not I want one? Well, I'm going to go walk through what we have and I'm going to list them from 1 through 10, number one collapsible item for us, and then I'm going to tell you which ones we don't have and why. Please leave some comments at the bottom if there's some collapsible items you're using that you absolutely love and wouldn't go RVing without. So. Let's start with number one, and that would be our draining dishpan. We use this all the time for lots of things. When I'm outside giving the puppies a bath, they sit in here. And when we're inside doing dishes, we do dishes in here, especially when we're boondocking, because then I can take the water and chuck it outside. And then the other thing we use it for is to collect used water while we're showering. So again, we can save space in our gray tank and dump the water outside or put it in our one gallon jug and actually use it to flush the toilet with. So this is my number one item. If I didn't have a collapsible one, I would have something like this that's drainable because this is perfect for sitting in our sink and it collapses so it takes up less room. We've had this for about two years and we have had absolutely no problems with it. It doesn't leak or anything. Number two, you may have seen in our video in Cabin Life that I have a pour over coffee maker. Well, number two is my two collapsible teapots. This one is your basic collapsible on the stove teapot. Love this, the only thing you have to worry about is don't turn up your uh, stove too high or you'll start to melt the handle. And when that happens, you'll end up getting yourself a new one. The other one, we chose to get a second collapsible teapot. And the reason is that when we're in some place like Arizona or California where there's lots of sun, why burn propane when you can use electricity that you're pulling off of your solar panels. So this teapot is an electrical one. It doesn't have quite as much volume, but it's basically works like that. And then your electrical outlet goes in there and this little handle clicks on the bottom here and into the lid slips over like that and you've got a teapot. The nice thing about this, you save yourself some propane, especially if you're boondocking and you don't want to spend money on that. So love this. If I had to go with one, it would be the one on the stove top, but this one's paid for itself in savings and propane. Number three, collapsible storage, food storage that is. We've got a set of these bowls, round bowls, and we also have square. I would normally just buy the square ones if I were doing this again, but we got this at Quartzsite in a package deal, so we bought both. We had plenty of room for it all, and honestly, we've had most of these in use at one time. The reason we love these is, one, they don't slide around once you put them up in your overhead. Because of the rubber bottoms, they slide less. But the big thing is, you can freeze food in this, take it right out, put it in your microwave, and use it, not have to dirty down multiple dishes. The other thing that I love, because I do the dishes most of the time, is that these are easy to clean up. That they don't uh, stain that I have encountered, nor do they smell. They have a color-coded lid, so there's a little button up here, so if you do take the lids off, they're really easy to determine which one goes on which. And they have a little sealable 
top here so you can actually uh, leave the lid on when you're microwaving and it still lets the air out. So we love these for packing lunches or freezing meals or having leftovers in. Uh, the round ones, the reason I don't like them as well is because they just don't fit in the cabinets as well because they are round. But otherwise they work basically the same way and we, like, we use these as well. This one was actually should be number three and this is what I showed in the previous video on how to make coffee, how I make coffee, and this is the collapsible pour over filter. Uh, holder. So you basically put your paper cup uh, filter in there. Uh, works the same as an, any other uh, pour over except that it collapses. And I've had this for about a year and I use it every single day and I've had zero problems with it. So I would probably put this above this just because I use it every day. Number one, five. <laughs> number five out of ten. Uh, it's hard to start choosing at this point but I would have to say probably bowls. I don't use these bowls as, uh, that much, but when we are cooking, if it's if you have a salad or something, we use these. Now, the reason they're not high on my list is if you're gonna buy a whole bunch of these, if you think about how they stack, they, they start to take up almost as much room as a bunch of bowls that sit inside each other. So if you have a whole bunch of bowls already that you already like, I don't know if and you have a bunch that stack, I don't know if upgrading to these is a, is a must. Um, in our case, we didn't have a lot of really nice bowls that would stack, so we went ahead and bought a couple. Again, if you're going to do a lot of cooking and you already have something that you like, you probably want to try those first and see if they work and then look at upgrading. Number six. This is a strainer. We use it for either washing vegetables or straining pasta. Um, really, we tried doing this without and it was kind of a pain. So having something really lightweight like this, uh, whether it's this type or something else, is really handy. And colanders, this particular thing ranks higher because if you think about the space it would take up if you had a hard-sided colander versus what you're going to get in, a, in this one. The only thing this one is a little funky about getting it, it doesn't like fold up quickly. You do have to work at it a little bit, but that's how much space it takes up. Number seven, dog dish. Now, this doesn't have a lid on it, so we bought these a while ago. We use them when we're day hiking or traveling. Um, so they're really nice as far as collapsing when putting your backpack. But you can also use one of these that you have, a small one that collapses, that has a lid. They're, that's actually kind of nice to have something like this if you're traveling down the road in a vehicle to put water in. Because if there's leftover water, you put the lid on, you don't have to worry about spillage and you always have some dog water. So we do like these for day hiking and we've had these for a long time, way before we went into RV life. Number eight, funnels. As you know, funnels take up quite a bit of space. We like, we have a couple of these. One that we use outside if we need to pour water or antifreeze into our water tank. Um, the nice thing is you can adjust this. So this is a smaller one that we use inside the RV, but the bigger one um, we use quite often. So these are nice. I mean, again, if you don't, if you already have funnels, try them before you go and upgrade to something like this. This is lower on our list because we don't use it as much. Number nine, collapsible cups. Now the thing is with these, uh, cups today, a lot of them will stack inside of each other, so you, they don't take up a ton of room, which is why this ends up being lower on my top 10 list. But we do have these. The nice thing is you can put these in drawers and they are pretty flat and they don't take up a lot of room. The other thing is if you just use one that's in a uh, food container, like we use it for our cereal, um, they collapse down and don't take up any room in there. And then my final 10th item is something we just purchased when we moved into the cabin this winter, and that's the drying rack for dishes. Um, we didn't, we didn't really have room for something like this in the RV, so we chose not to do this for the RV. We just have some drying 
mats. Um, so we did not up get this for the RV. We may end up taking it with us, but so this ends up being number 10 because we've done without it so far and it doesn't go as flat as a little mat. But this has worked really well in the cabin and allows us to stick it underneath the sink. So that's it as far as the collapsible items we have currently. So what don't we have? Well, we have tried collapsible plastic water containers. So if you've seen our previous videos, we lug around five gallon hard sided water containers. And the reason we do that is because we're pretty hard on them. They sit in the back of the truck, they slide around, they bang up against things and we don't have to worry about them leaking or anything like that. The plastic ones we've tried, we went to the RTR with in 2019 and those lasted for that trip, but it wasn't long after that that they started to leak. And the reason is that they actually got puncture in them. And we had them sliding around in the back of the truck and things like that happen. So they ended up not being something that we kept and we went with the hard sided because they're a little bit more durable. So that's one thing that we don't use. I've seen lots of other people use them. So if you're a weekender and you just want and you're car camping or you have limited space and you do want to carry water and you want to be able to put away that container when they're when it's done, those plastic collapsible guys are fine. They just don't work well for us. And the other thing we don't have that I've seen a lot of people saying that they have to have is a collapsible bucket. Well, we've used this for like cleaning floors or whatever else. So this particular item works a lot for like a bucket might be used for. We have a hard sided five gallon bucket, a big round one like this, and we don't want it collapsible. The reason is because it is our emergency go to toilet. So if we want to put a toilet seat on top of it in a makeshift way, you want something that is going to not collapse on you in the middle of your business. So that's why we keep a five gallon hard sided bucket with us. And when it's not being used, we keep a whole lot of stuff in it. So it acts as a storage space in our front of our RV. We also have a vacuum that we've been using while we've been working here in the in the cabin and that fits right on a five gallon uh, bucket as well so hope you've enjoyed it if you do give us a thumbs up subscribe and i'll see you in our next video